Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general love reading for the zodiac sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the end of August going into September. We are going to take a look at your over energies uh, regarding uh, love and the person that you're connecting with. And then we'll take a look at your person to see what their current true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what the possible outcome and advice are. Uh, before we get started, uh, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on new videos that post on, uh, post onto my channel. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if uh, you feel like there is someone out there that needs uh, to hear this. Uh, someone that you know that needs to hear this um, and uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonated those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me the link is in the description box below all right let's get started over energies for Leo regarding love and the person that they are connecting with for the uh, end of August going into September Sun Moon rising and Venus signs for Leo over energy for Leo regarding love and the person that they are connecting with here. All right, Leo, we have the Ten of Cups in the bottom of the deck here with the Eight of Wands. We have Judgment, Sagittarius Energy. Two of Pentacles. So you might have Sagittarius in your chart or Scorpio, or you're dealing with someone that has that. We have the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. So you could have that in your chart, or you're dealing with someone that has that in their chart. Uh, temperance, Sagittarius energy. So more fire energy, uh, Sagittarius energy here. And the Emperor, Aries energy. So I feel like you're getting communication in, in regards to... I feel like you're getting communication from someone that's wanting perhaps a reconciliation here with you. I'm feeling like whoever is going to communicate with you is wanting a uh, marriage here. Someone is looking for forgiveness. Someone here is apologizing. I feel like someone here is no longer indecisive about what they want here. All right, let's see what else we have here. What is this Eight of Wands here? What is this Eight of Wands doing here? What is this Eight of Wands doing here? Eight of Wands and the Two of Swords. Why is this, uh, judgment here so temperance sagittarius energy showing up again so whatever communication that's coming your way i feel uh leo i feel like you might not see this coming you didn't believe that maybe this would happen with this person but i feel like this person is serious about it we got the temperance here we have the temperance card here two times you could be dealing with the sagittarius leo why is this two of pentacles here in the high priestess so Cancer Pisces energy. Why is this King of Swords here? I mean, someone here is definitely coming in to talk. So I feel like this person could have hurt you. This, uh, uh, or this person is hurt because they're without you right now. This person could have put you in a third party situation where they were juggling you and other people. But I feel like this person doesn't want to do that anymore. Why is this temperance here? It feels like this person could be wising up or something like that. Temperance and the Lovers, Gemini Energy. Why is this Emperor here? The Emperor and the Moon. I've got the King of Pentacles here. So I'm feeling like this could be a same-sex uh, relationship. Doesn't have to be, but um, just apply this to your own unique situation. Place yourself where you see fit. Take it as the rest needs. The rules could be, could be flipped or reversed. I mean, someone here could be in this energy of wanting to express 
of their deepest hidden emotions towards someone uh, where they, you know, where they never done that before. So Leo, expect someone to tell you something that you've never even heard. Uh, this is probably going to be your first time hearing this. Probably their feelings about you, what they truly want, um, what their expectations are with you, um, what their intentions are. Tell me about the person that uh, Leo is dealing with here. What are their true feelings and intentions towards Leo for the end of August going into September? something that fell out here. Just hold on one sec. All right, we have the seven of wands. Look, we have the eight of wands again. I'm gonna split the deck. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. We have the Knight of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You could be dealing with another Leo here. We have the King of Pentacles. Look at all this masculine energy here. Um, so it could just be, you know, a male and a female that has, both has strong masculine. It could be two females that have strong masculine energy. So um, yeah, just uh, apply this to your own unique situation. We have the Hermit card, Virgo energy. Four of Pentacles. And Justice, Libra showing up again. Libra showing up again. Justice showing up again. Um, I mean, I'm feeling like someone here is coming in, trying to do everything they can to make a relationship work again with you, um, uh, Leo. I feel like this person have gone through this period of introspection, self-reflection here. Um, I feel like this person hasn't been able to let you go. I mean, this person is coming back to balance out the situation here. Perhaps being apart, someone was going through their karma, or maybe they learned their lesson here. We have the sun here, uh, Leo energy right there. So someone here is seeing you as their happiness. Someone here is seeing you as their happiness, and they want to come back. Why is the seven of wands here? seven of wands all right we have the two of cups here what's why is this on knight of wands here knight of wands and the hierophant i feel like someone here is rushing in for marriage here you know someone could be wanting marriage i mean we have the ten of cups and then the justice card here someone here is putting the effort with the Eight of Pentacles, someone seeing someone as their happiness, knowing where victory and success lies, leaving the past behind. What is this King of Pentacles doing here? King of Pentacles and uh, the Strength card, Leo Energy. So more Leo Energy showing up. You might be dealing with another Leo. Why is this uh, Hermit here? Hermit and the Emperor. So we have someone here that is completely withdrawn from someone. So we have an emperor and a king. Why is this four of pentacles here? We have judgment, Sagittarius energy. So someone is holding on to hopes that this reconciliation, this second chance will work out. Uh, but we have someone here that's completely disengaged Someone here that's not talking. Someone here that could have fallen off the grid here. Um, and this person might also be like in a different city or state or country or something like that. Justice in the Eight of Cups. Someone could be facing their karma here. Whatever karma they are facing, it's actually very painful for them. 
because they feel like this person really hurt the person that they love and now they are feeling it. We have the nine of pentacles on the bottom of the deck here. So I feel like someone here is wanting to come back around to apologize, wanting to make amends here. You could have been in a toxic situation with this person. You could have been dealing with a uh, person that's a player here. It seems like the person's been tamed or something like that. Now this, now this player is wanting commitment, but it might be too late because it, it seems like this emperor here is long gone. Outcome and advice here for Leo regarding their love situation for the end of August going into September. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. fortune on the bottom of the deck. All right, the three of wands, eight of pentacles, ace of cups, ten of pentacles. You have the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles. We have uh, temperance again in the king of cups. We have three different kings here. Someone here wants to make this work again. Someone here is coming back around. We have someone from your past that's coming back around for hoping for a reconciliation, um, Leo. So feel free to place yourself where you see fit. Take it as it resonates. We have an emperor. And these kings here. So I'm feeling like these kings are the same person. Why is this three of wands here? Why is this three of wands here? Three of wands and the ace of swords. Why is this eight of pentacles here? Eight of pentacles and the four of cups. I feel like someone here could have sent an email here to someone. I feel like someone here is waiting for a response. I guess I feel like someone here is not going to get it. Why is this Ace of Cups here? Ace of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Wow. Why is this Ten of Pentacles here? Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. So we have the King to the Queen of Swords here. So we have a masculine that is wanting a reconciliation with their queen. Okay, so what I'm getting here is that this king and these kings and these emperor are the same people. And I feel like we have someone here that could have been in the past not very communicative, kept secrets, lies, deception here. Um, could have put someone in a third party situation, juggled someone. And now someone here is just trying to fix things. Why is temperance here? Temperance in the page of swords. You see someone here, some, someone in email or a text message. Why is this page of cups here? Page of cups and uh, uh, king of cups and the four of wands. So this could be a twin flame connection, soulmate connection. I mean, we have we have temperance here two times. We have uh, uh, no temperance here three times. We have judgment here two times. I mean, someone here is sort of wishing and hoping that someone here will be able to reconcile with someone. It seems like a tear, tear uh, a player got tamed. Um, I feel like uh, someone here might have leveled up uh, from the work that they've been doing on themselves. Um, someone here is definitely facing their karma, perhaps taking responsibility for their actions. And I just feel like 
Someone here is completely, completely missing someone and is in love with someone and is, and is waiting for someone to come back. So, Leo, I hope this resonated. If it did, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Ring the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.